hexadecimal value interpreter in FTK Imager allows us to visualize the numerical values of different sorts of values directly stored on the surface of the drive. For example, right now, I'm looking at the drive, which is a thumb drive, and, and I'm also noticing that it's formatted to a FAT32 file system, file allocation table file system, 32-bit version. And I know that uh, on these drives, typically you don't have a master boot record with, uh, with the partition table. So instead, it typically just uh, starts with the uh, boot sector of the partition, or uh, something that's also known as a volume boot record. So in this case, we have this helpful handout right here where we can scroll down through different data structures, well-known data structures. And for example, if my assumption is correct, and what we're looking at right now here in this first sector on this drive is indeed file allocation table boot sector, then uh, you can see that, for example, in bytes 11 through 12, we will uh, see the size per sector, how many bytes per sector uh, are you know, stored on this drive. So if I want to be able to make this interpretation, you can see that uh, these are the hexadecimal codes, and somewhere here, for sure, all this information is stored. So, the fr first of all, these offsets in bytes are given as decimal values, but the default format of offsets here is uh, hexadecimal. So you can right-click and say that you want to show the decimal values. Right, so this uh, offset uh, guide uh, gets adjusted. If I want to jump to bytes 11 and 12, I can also watch my cursor position. So, for example, right here somewhere, uh, this tells me that this is cursor position 11. And if I select two bytes, which would correspond to bytes 11 and 12, and then say view hex value interpreter, you see that uh, it tells me that if this was an integer value stored as this encoding, uh, that would correspond to decimal value 512, uh, 512. And once again, if we take a look at the properties of this drive, you can see that the byte per sector is indeed 512. So the hex value interpreter allows you to select certain areas, just a few bytes, string them together uh, by making the selection, then uh, this helps and this helps to identify these positions. Of course, you need to know specifically what kind of data structure you're looking for, and then you can switch to this hex value interpreter and be able to verify it. Overall, this hex value interpreter allows you to view uh, integers that could have could be positive and negative values, integers that are only positive values, file times in universal time format, uh, local file time, DOS uh, date and time formats, and also Unix time structure, universal Unix time uh, time structure. And it tells you here also how many bytes you would have to be able to select um, to to then turn this interpretation on. There's also a choice to select either Little Indian or Big Indian format of storage. In the Little Indian, uh, the uh, least significant uh, byte is stored at the beginning. And in the Big Indian format, it's reversed. Okay, so this looks deceptively like 0, 0, 0, 0002. So if I s switch to a Big Indian, that becomes 2. In Little Indian, which is the uh, typical uh, type of storage in memory of uh, Intel machines, um, you'd have uh, this storage being in reverse. So this is basically a hex hexadecimal 200. And so if I want to visualize it, you see that uh, it becomes uh, 512, which is apparently indeed the place where this um, 
numeric value bytes per sector on this uh, volume that we're looking at, FAT32 volume, is indicated. So this completes a set of challenges for this laboratory exercise. I hope you enjoyed the functionality of FTK Imager. What I want you to do is to repeat my steps and be able to fill all these uh, um, questions with your answers and submit for grading when you're ready. I will provide you my feedback and I will notify you by email when I, will, I, when I had the chance to review your work. Uh, typically, my feedback will be included in the email, and also when this form uh, is graded, you will be able to see additional comments right next to your answers.